Here Hello, we go. everybody. Uh, we just had a, a wonderful conversation that is a corollary to uh, the discussion that I had yesterday. Uh, and you may be seeing a theme. This is uh, we're, we're doing some stuff on health care because I think the country is geared up, businesses are geared up, families are geared up uh, to go ahead and start solving some of our uh, extraordinary uh, health care system problems. Uh, yesterday, we focused a lot on cost. Uh, one element of cost is that where companies are able to take initiatives to make their employees healthier, to give them incentives and, and mechanisms uh, to improve uh, their wellness and, and to prevent disease, uh, companies see their bottom lines improve. And so what we've done is to gather together a group today of uh, some of the best practitioners of uh, prevention and wellness, wellness programs in the private sector. Uh, you have companies like Safeway uh, that have been able to hold their costs flat for their employees uh, at a time when uh, other companies are seeing uh, double-digit in inflation in their health care. Uh, you've got uh, terrific innovations at companies like Microsoft uh, where uh, they actually have used home visits uh, of doctors to reduce the utilization of uh, emergency room care and are saving uh, themselves millions of dollars. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the, the hotel employees union that has been taking data and working individually with providers as well as uh, their membership working with the employer and the employee as well as the providers uh, and seeing huge reductions in uh, some of the costs related to chronic illnesses. Uh, uh, Johnson & Johnson has been a leader uh, in this area since 1978. Uh, Pitney Bowes uh, has been uh, taking uh, similar approaches and seeing millions of dollars in savings to their bottom line. Uh, uh, the Ohio Department of Public Health has been doing terrific work with respect to uh, their state employees as well as spreading the message across the state. And then uh, REI, uh, which has to be fit since they're a fitness company, uh, has been doing uh, uh, work that allows them to provide health care coverage, health insurance, not only to their full-time employees, but also to their part-time employees. Every single employee is covered, but part of the reason they're able to do it is because they put a big emphasis on prevention and wellness. So uh, what, you, what we've done here today is to gather together some of uh, these stories and best practices uh, to make sure that they are going to be informing the health care reform discussions that take place here in Washington. Uh, there's no quick fix. There's no silver bullet when you hear what Safeway or Johnson & Johnson or any of these other companies have done. What you've seen is sustained experimentation uh, over many years and a shift in incentive structure so that employees see concrete benefits as a consequence of them stopping smoking or losing weight or getting exercise, working with providers so that uh, the provider incentives are aligned uh, with the employee incentives as well and changing uh, the culture uh, of the company. Now, if we can do that in individual companies, there's no reason why we can't do that for the country as a whole. Uh, part of what we want to do here, uh, starting here today, uh, is to lift up these best practices so other companies can uh, identify and, and uh, potentially implement them, uh, but also to make sure that when we think about how we're going to uh, reform the healthcare system as a whole, when we think about things like Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements, when we think about uh, how we can uh, make the system more efficient, that we're not just doing this in the abstract, but we're actually taking proven measures uh, that have been applied in the private sector and seeing uh, how we can uh, apply those, for example, to federal employees uh, and our employee healthcare system. All this designed to save taxpayers money, save businesses money, uh, and ultimately make uh, the American people healthier and happier and make sure that we're getting a better uh, bang for our health care dollar. So it's been a terrific conversation. This will be uh, part of the ongoing uh, process uh, that we're developing over the next several months, and I appreciate uh, all of you for participating in a wonderful conversation. 
All right. Thank sure. you, guys. Day two of the president's initiative to uh, enact health care reform of some sort during his first term in office. Next hour, David Geffen.